Hello darlings, I hope you've been well. So managing your mental health at Christmas. Christmas is like my favourite time of year, other than Halloween maybe. Like all the hot chocolate, more chocolate, roast dinners, socks, twinkly lights, smell of Christmas trees. However, the holiday season can be like a big source of stress for a lot of people. Navigating it when you have any type of mental health condition is very difficult. Not everyone has the fortune of being surrounded by people that aren't toxic. Our energy can be like depleted. Depression, mental illness doesn't just go away when you're on holiday. Seasonal depression, it's difficult. Eating disorders, very difficult. Emotional intensity disorders in general everything so i think my first tip would be self-care the holidays so intensely focuses on spending time with your loved ones and your family but like self-care can like fail to be mentioned i don't know like a lot of us don't give ourselves time for this i think the key to maintaining self-care over the christmas is to like schedule it in and like kind of treat it as an obligation so just as you'd write in your calendar like to meet a friend schedule a day dedicated or even just in the evening dedicated towards your mental health caring for your emotional energy and making sure it's not drained self-care is unique to everyone so it can be whatever you want baths and stuff making sure like your pleasure is a priority and your joy and your sense of self is still there not everything with self-care is like do a face mask sometimes self-care can be boring like literally brushing your teeth going for a short walk, having a shower. But do things like listen to a podcast or even watch a movie because it's easy to get overwhelmed during these times. And also like just to leave your phone out of your self-care because that isn't really self-care, like that's another way to feel overwhelmed. I know Christmas shopping can be overwhelming too and I might do a whole dedicated video towards shopping and anxiety like for a lot of us. Um, you can get like changing room anxiety, uh, feel overwhelmed in crowds. If you have not a healthy relationship with your family, I would set boundaries. I'm fortunate enough to have a loving family, so, but I can only imagine how claustrophobic that would be if you had a bad relationship with your family. And just because they're your family, doesn't mean you're obligated to, you know, spend every second together because you do need to take time out for yourself. So now I'm gonna talk about eating disorders over Christmas time because I have experience with this and I know how challenging it can be. So what are the triggers around this time? I think the extra socializing can be a trigger. Of course, things like going out for a lunch with your family or like, I don't know, like a Christmas work do um, can be lovely. But spending this extra time in the company of others can be exhausting if you're mentally ill. Even before food comes into the question, like that can be exhausting in itself. Also the pressure can be a trigger for those with eating disorders. Statistics show that people with eating disorders are more likely to have OCD or perfectionism tendencies. Christmas time can just like be extra stressful for us because we want everything to get, we want everything to go right. Even if it's something from like buying a Christmas present for someone or just to attend all of these Christmas events or just the pressure to seem happy and like everything's fine it can be hard to manage and like sometimes you feel guilty for not constantly feeling festive. To those you know who are in recovery for an eating disorder I'd say don't focus on food too much. Obviously you have to eat but Christmas like celebrations are always centered around food it feels like. Don't be so rigid on yourself especially this time like you don't need to control everything i think now's the time to challenge yourself by adding in some like additional treats and just like making sure you don't feel pressured by anyone else but at the same time don't reduce your intake like especially because now's the time to just try and relax and try and enjoy everything don't obsess over it especially during this time don't focus too much about it. It's way easier said than done, but without feeling guilty, plan and encourage some time out. Maybe tell your loved ones, obviously you love them, but like you might need like a little escape plan, whether that be meditating, taking a small walk. I think this can help diffuse the feelings of guilt. It's okay to need a bit of time alone to recharge. Also, I'd say focus on other things, like I know I've kind of already pointed this out, because a lot of Christmas time is focused around food. But there's so many other lovely things about Christmas, like whether that be board games, uh, cozying up to a Christmas movie. Some people go to church. Uh, going for a little family walk is what we usually do. Not everything has to be so focused on food. Talk about things, like talk to your loved ones. Um, 
don't be afraid to ask for some encouragement. Maybe it'd be nice to hear from a friend or something that I know this isn't easy for you but you're doing so well, something like that. It would be nice for your loved ones to ask if there's anything they can do for you, like sometimes you can just ask for that bit of encouragement or ask for some advice or we do need support during these times, especially if you're new to recovery. So don't be afraid to like communicate your needs and communicate your feelings and anxieties around this time. So yeah, self-care should be a priority for any reason you find yourself feeling overwhelmed like I said earlier, have an escape plan and do what's best for you. Only you know what's best for you. Listen to some music, have a bubble bath, take some photographs, um, journal, even do some colouring. I get really into colouring. Um, Self-care isn't selfish and remove what doesn't serve you. Not only is food so like big of a focus this time of year, there's so much like endless talk about how much exercise you'll need to do to burn it off. It's so frustrating for someone in recovery who hears around especially January like talking about diets, detox, calories. It's actually so triggering and I've lived through that, especially if you go visit your distant family. There's always talk around fucking diets and it really used to annoy me, um, especially because that's kind of what your mind is telling you anyway. All you really need is a distraction from that. So know what's best for you, don't be afraid to escape a little bit and you don't need that kind of triggering crap in your life like new year, new year shit. You need to eliminate as much of that exposure to yourself as possible. I'd say also stay off social media around this time. Try and live in the moment because comparison is a thief of joy. I find social media is when I find the most content about, you know, like diets and detox around this time. So just go easy on yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Even if you have a relapse tendency, like recovery isn't linear. There will be ups and downs. Just because you have a small lapse doesn't mean you need a full relapse. So just keep trying. Don't just give up. You're doing amazing. I know that the charity Beat has helplines around Christmas time and I'll put up on the screen some helplines. I think most of them are from the UK. I think I started recovery around December, or it could, no, I think it was November. Yeah, it's November. Although it's so challenging and like, I felt so overwhelmed and emotionally just, it's so intense. For me, it's kind of like now or never, like there will never be the right time to start recovery. You are sick, there's no such thing as sick enough to recover. Getting any sort of thoughts that you need to be sicker is indicative of sickness in itself. Even if you haven't been diagnosed, you deserve help. Even if you haven't been hospitalised, you deserve help. You don't need to look a certain way to have a disorder since it's a mental illness, not a physical one. So like try and enjoy things like hot chocolate and treats and stuff because when you do recover, you'll look back and think that is so depressing that I missed out on all this lovely stuff and all this lovely time in this isolative, depressive, empty, cold, feelings. You deserve to recover. You deserve to feel happy. Don't be afraid to call uh, Beats helpline either. So yeah, with like borderline personality disorder, emotional intensity disorder, whatever you want to call it, now is also very tricky for us. Just overwhelming in general. But like I said, well like I've been saying, just try and use this time to relax. I know it can be a big source of stress, but it's not meant to. So like don't put so much pressure on yourself for everything to go smoothly because just because you're on holiday doesn't mean that you're gonna be cured, like your mental illness doesn't just like get a holiday too, unfortunately. I hope anything I said has been helpful. But yeah, like just try and have a chill time. I know I'm gonna be playing lots of Animal Crossing because I, I just get the feeling that the new update's gonna be so lit. <laughs> I posted new content on my Depop and I've got loads of new stock coming. Thank you so much for watching, sending all my love. I know it's so early, but Merry Christmas. Bye.